What's up guys, this is the Rev Minute and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. Without further ado, let's just kick straight off and have a good time bashing this uh, Persian stack to pieces. With my proper full army actually, with artillery and howitzers and everything. So let's go. And my blunderbuss shotgunners that is... God, it is sweltering in the UK. Room has ventilation. I need a fan. I know exactly. You know what, that'd probably be a... Many things to do on Friday afternoon. Yeesh. That's what happens when you have uh, when you get half days off from work. You all you end up doing is just filling them up with other things to do. Mm. Oh, that's the hill I was on. I think. So I don't think my artillery is going to be a big influencer in this game, this battle. So it's tempting to deploy my howitzers, deploy my foot artillery to sit here and do stuff. And I'm guarded by two militia units from any cavalry that I might fancy coming up. I have my howitzer batteries in the reserve, well not in reserve, um, to the rear line up my infantry or oh, messing around with camera angles have a set of lances on this flank have my guard corps on the left have my hand mortar companies on the right they're going to move in hard and fast on the flanks and my general to the rear and obviously they've deployed off slightly at an angle Lancers go straight into those Sindamari, Sindamari, Sindari. Silmarillion horsemen. I need my guard corps to go into them as well. They're only squidgy, squidgy skirmish horsemen. Shooting to the back of my own men. Good. So let's get my other units of infantry. to shove out into these Kalishi Musketeers. Let's run up my hand mortars because I want to see them just do some absolute work. They're going to fire first. Oh, God alive. Everyone go in. All of my artillery hold fire.
Good, so let's keep an eye on my cavalry. Good, I got rid of them. Move on to that unit. Actually, move on to that unit as they're right there. Good cavalry. Should be the end of this unit. Four, two, one, gone. Charge onto them. direction sorry Persians I can't suffer you to live Good, then triple speed, because this is not going to last long. Might even be able to get some... No, oh, I was about to say, might be able to get some more units, but... Should we do some devastation to this unit, getting them down from 70 to 50, 48. Yeah, that's good. And the rest are all fleeing over in that direction. Decisive victory. <clears throat> Those are the To capture the entire enemy's army is, in, is better than to destroy it. To take an attack regiment and company or squad is better than to destroy it. Not in this game, because there's no real point to do it. There you go. Army utterly routed. <clears throat> so this army will leapfrog straight on to the first Indian province. Good. In turn. There you go, getting the conversion of the local population en route. So then, for sure these Persian territories aren't too profitable, neither are the northwest Indian states, but as I push through, the money will start pouring in. Oh no, don't retreat, Prussia. Not Prussia, Poland. You should give it a good go. You got beaten back from Berlin. Can't win them all, I suppose. Still trying to be sneaky. It's not going to work. There's just too many Russian stacks now coming your way. How oh, the Mughal Empire is desperately trying to retreat their gentlemen to get the try to regain, aren't they? Maybe to try to catch up education and research. Not that it's going to help very much. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. 
path Select blocked it's consider. not really blocked is it will help your population grow a trade port will provide an income from overseas trade oh, good let's get some good solid economics buildings being built so this army you just go destroy them just in a quick fight yep And replenish and then push down to reinforce replenish push down to here maintain siege for now move them up a bit more to act as reinforcements this army can go straight into Afghanistan that's not even I don't think it's even worth me fighting at this stage there's gonna be many more battles to come later destroy the palace have they got any education buildings Pleasure buildings, they got a fortress, farmland. Be not really unhappy. I've just got such a big army here, you, nothing's really upset you. Fine, let's build a craft workshop and let's build good roads. Then next turn, build a fortress or build walls. Because, yeah, now I have a border with the Mughal Empire. Cool, Afghanistan is captured. Send them down to raid that port. Good. Cairo is reinforced. Istanbul is reinforced. Moldavia's got a garrison, but not a brilliant one. Riga's got a good garrison for its size. Finland's got a good garrison. St. Petersburg doesn't have walls, so I'm going to build walls there. This could be an expensive turn. I need to build walls, 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 and build... Naval board. Maybe army staff, college? Ooh, rifleman scouts. See what I'm going to do. I'm going to build, recruit an army in Moscow, take advantage of all of my Russian elites, and then send that uh, another army down to India. Because it'll take about four or five turns to recruit. Then probably same again to get down to theatre. Even with metal roads. <laughs> oh, the Brits got... Oh, they got absolutely pummeled by someone. Now the Spanish are going to go finish them off. Good. And for, I'm, I'm glad I've got the Barbary States as a buffer zone between me and Spain so we don't come straight into direct conflict. I'm tempted to, once they capture the last Persian province, to knock their trading port down and replace it with a shipyard to start building a Russian navy. I mean, it wouldn't be any good at this stage, but it would be something. The odds that they're going to fortify their... Of yeah, blockade of St. Petersburg. It's coming a full stack to it, which I think there might... Currently no troops stationed at this fort. Uh, it's giving me an alert that no one's in my fort, which the enemy have abandoned. Right, there we go. The Mughal Empire is now going to mobilise. So we need to get reinforcement stacks in there fast. Because if you think you've seen a stalemate, a bloody stalemate in um, my US campaign against the Prussians, that that's going to be a grind, this is going to seize. In this region, it has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. 
Let's keep you down to Kabul. Population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. Magistrate settlement for allows the construction of Let's risk sending out these guys just to destroy the army. Get them back in. Replenish them. And I've got just enough money to fortify St. Petersburg. It's exactly the sort of area that the AI would try to to land. To land a force and try to take St. Petersburg. Pfft. What a waste of money. Right, I've not got much money, but let's start. Let's build a field marshal of Europe and send him down to India. So you need to hightail it rapidly, maybe up to Afghanistan. Because then, then I got that army has to split off, and one has to take Kashmir, and one has to take Lahore. Maybe both go for Lahore. To be honest, I'm tempted to go for it. Even though they have mortars, I just move up in short order and shred them to bits with my excellent melee infantry. So I think, from reinforcements, what I'd be most interested with is cavalry. Then just start sending in infantry into support, and then after that many, it probably won't matter. Right, let's go. So the aim would be to push them off the continent. plan is just push up just push up have some art oh god look how flat it is it's like a, it's like a billiard table leave some units to guard my artillery battery in case I get screwed over on the redeployment reinforcement sorry Square, charge them in the flank, just to tag them. Good, halt the charge. This has got particularly odd.
need four map. through into the musketeers, I think. Continuously pound the garrison, I suppose. Deploy these guys ready to go the other direction. Keep your guns. And then everyone, well, once they've picked up their guns, all of you will target that mortar garrison. This has gone a bit tactically weird. Musketeers is reformed after that thrashing. And that would have done the trick. Mm, they're getting into a firing position. Not that it's going to help. My line infantry is just oh, it's just been beastly. I've been absolutely destroying people in this game with Russian infantry. It's just so damn many of them. Most of them hit the wall, hit the the uh Oh one of these guys some of these guys will die due to Oh yep, yeah, he died because he was in the way. Killing him by accident would be really good. Focus on those camel gunners.
Okay, now let's get back to focusing on the task at hand. Running to get into position. There we go. Poor, poor Bowman. God, they're all moaning exactly the same. House is opening fire. God, when these guys have opened fire on these musket and these gunners, sorry, they're going to move up, move up and capture the town. All of my guns focus on the camels again. Melee infantry. Finally charging, but too late. Yep, too late. Populous gonna go the same way. Oh god alive. Absolute slaughter of just standard troops. I'm going to get my general just to do a uh, missed so they're chasing after my general but he's just going to run away because he's on a horse
chase them down in case they come back. Damn, my guys look like they're actually going to catch them up. Say they say confident. But how confident do they mean really? Bugged out. Smash straight onto the next one, I guess. Good old general. They've been the kingmaker in this battle. <laughs> even more because I guess these might not be so bad because they can't move anyway and they get some more cover from being shot at but it doesn't make much difference when they're being charged at by cavalrymen there we go smashed them mm -hmm. good so I've managed to capture both the Persian territories um, in Iran and Let's see if, by being very diplomatic... Oh, Persia lost Rome. Spain took it back. Well, Spain took it back. Spain took Rome. Well, that is the nation destroyed of Persia. Whew, right. Replenishing, let's get replenishing you. You need to take up a position on the frontier. Do you have any roads? You do have roads, but none heading towards India, by the looks of it. There's an Indian army. Sikh warriors, dervishes. Some little raiding force. So where's my raiding army? No, you're, that's my actual army. My raiding army. Don't waste your time over there. Gun it up over here. Rapidly. Cool. Anyway, looking at the time, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.